Welcome back guys, you're watching All The Beer No Idea, Baz is back with another beer review for you now. Hope you've had a good weekend, enjoyed your Sunday, Sunday evening, and hopefully we've got something absolutely belting for you. I really do hope it is a belter. And we are off to Belgium, and we are off to Browry de Havre Marm, and we have a bottle of their Straff Hendrik Quadruple coming in at 11%. Beautiful label. You, I'll tell you what, the picture doesn't do it justice, but it's got a real classy label. Beautiful bottle cap. It oozes class by the looks of it. Uh, it's a 330ml bottle, like I said. Well, if I didn't say, I'm telling you now. 11%. Picked this up from Trembling Madness. This was about £4.25. Uh, yeah, and that's about it. I've had the triple. That was pretty decent. Not one of my favourite ones, I've got to be said. Now, like I say, label, bottle cap, all looks real class. And to finish off the look, we are going with the old Straff Hendrick glass which is, again, is class. So, let's crack this open and see what we get. I do like a quadruple, it's gotta be said. Let's hope that it doesn't decide he wants to explode on me, so I'm gonna try and be quick. Plenty of smoke, it didn't explode, so that's a good, a good sign. Yeah, I've gotta say, I do love her. I, I, I prefer doubles and quads over blondes and triples, to be honest. I like the darker side of these stronger beers. Uh, just, I, I just prefer the flavours, to be honest. So, let's get the rest out in the glass. Probably about as good as a pour, as good a pour as I would have probably expected, because they're rather lively. Beer in a glass. Let me have a look. Yeah, there's a reddish, reddish hue in there when I hold it up to the light. Uh, for you, it's gonna look like jet black on the screen, but there is a red issue in there. Uh, we've got a finger and a half of really compact tan head. It's like a fluffy little pillow. Uh, looks real good. So let's dive in with the nose, see what aromas we can pick up on this. What would I be expecting out of this? Rich, dark, heavy, maybe a bit of licorice, bit of malt in there, some sort of dark fruits maybe as well, but Let's dive in, like I say, with the nose and see what we get. Okay, yeah, it did. It smells like a quad. On the nose, all a little, a little bit muted. It smells rich. Malty, rich. Again, a sort of brown sugar. Sweetness in there, a little bit of dark fruit, even maybe a little inkling of chocolate in there as well for me. A little bit sweet, doesn't smell, doesn't smell particularly boozy. Sometimes these sort of big beers, you do pick up the aroma of alcohol and the booziness in it. For me, you're not getting a big hit of alcohol, which is a good sign. So. Without further ado, let's give the old Straff Hendrick quadruple a go. Cheers. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's go in again. That's lovely. Body's nice, combined with that creamy head on top. That body feels beautiful. It is well carbonated, lots of little bubbles. But again, with most Belgian beers, when they are well carbonated, they tend to be lots of tiny little bubbles that don't, don't tear the inside of your mouth apart. They just caress, massage the inside of your mouth. And the mouthfeel on it is beautiful, absolutely top. Mm. Taste wise, very complex. A rich maltiness to it. Raisin, figgy maybe. There's a rich brown sugar kind of thing going on in there for me. Maybe a bit of sort of molasses kind of thing. Definitely a big hit of sort of licorice, aniseed. 
That's leaving a, a bitterness in your mouth. And in there, as I said on the nose, took a while to pick it up, but there was almost like a chocolatey kind of thing going on. And I just picked that up in the taste as well then. A little like chocolatey feel to it, a little chocolatey sort of sweetness to it which is really nice in the middle of it because it sort of takes away some of that strong sort of licorice sort of bitterness that goes in there. That starts building up the more mouthfuls you have, but that little bit of chocolate I caught then, what it does is just take the edge off that. And that's aniseed licorice bitterness on the back end is then, how can I put it? Until that chocolate sort of kicked in, you're getting a a lot of sort of licorice anisey bitterness going through. That chocolate bit just takes the edge off, but it does come in on the back end again. You do feel it more on the back end, and it's really nice, really nice. 11%, <laughs> tell you what, this is dangerous. Well, I say dangerous. I'll tell you what, it, it's 11%. It doesn't drink anywhere near like 11%. And it's dangerous to the extent that it's very drinkable. Really sort of drinks really well. But it's on that back end. When that sort of aniseed licorice bitterness thing has sort of kicked in, then you kind of get a little bit of a feel of alcohol. Excuse me. And it is only a little bit. And you maybe get a little bit of warming. So it's not dangerous that you're going to end up drinking six or seven of these. It's never going to be that dangerous. But it drinks very well that you could quite easily drink two of these rather quick and end up feeling a little bit worse for wear. Uh, it's a belter. For me, personally, uh, for me, it, blow, it blows the triple out of the water. But like I say, I think I'm more of a, a double stroke quad kind of drinker rather than maybe a blonde and a triple but this is absolutely belting and I tell you what if you like your quadruples you need to pick this up £4.25 like I said I think I paid for it from Trembling Madness worth absolutely every penny that is a belter so that's it for this review uh, they're my opinions if you've had this beer before let me know what you think Feel free to comment. Uh, if you haven't had it before, like I said, if you like a quadruple, you need to pick that up because that is a belter, absolute belter. Uh, so I'm going to leave it there. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Feel free to comment. Feel free to subscribe. Feel free to hit that bell that should be somewhere down there, I think. Uh, when you're watching this, it should be somewhere down there. Hit that if you want to be notified every time I release a video. I'm going to leave you all in peace now to enjoy your Sunday. You're probably having a stout if you're a good person. Uh, and that's it. So I'm going to shut up and leave you to it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one. Cheers.